this gets recorded so I'm recording it on my normal computer camera as you're looking at right here if I get distorted here I'm also recording this video from my iPhone that's to my left here this is insane but I feel like I'm being cyber attacked my video I just did I had to pull it after 58 views because it was so distorted after, after it hit the 44 second mark you couldn't understand anything else but let's cut to the chase China North Korea relationship and how does that relate to what's going on I think it's critical uh, this is from time article through time smoke was still billowing from the island there in South Korea that endured the barrage of North Korean artillery fire on November 23rd when China's state-run network CCTV led its news program with the conflagration on the Korean Peninsula. This is a natural move. It would seem given that it was one of the worst border conflicts between the two Koreans in over 50 years in which at least two South Korean Marines and two civilians have died along with 18 injured South Korean soldiers and civilians. But even though the video footage appeared clearly showing that North Korea initiated the attack on this island, the CCTV netcast from Beijing took a different stance. Are you shocked by that? Are you? <laughs> oh, man. Blame was not um, appointed or directed toward the North. But instead, the program quoted North Korean officials who claimed that it was actually South Korea that had struck first. They're lying. It's a bold-faced lie again. While a chorus of nations quickly condemned North Korea for its actions, China, as usual, chose no criticism. The rest of the world may consider North Korea the ultimate rogue state, but China for a long time, has considered them a very close, connected, hermit neighbor. Well, that's nice. They're hermits. I don't know many hermits that shoot 200 rounds of artillery at innocent civilians. The only hermit I knew who ever tried to bomb somebody and did bomb people was Ted Kaczynski. Remember him? The hermit who hid in the Montana shack somewhere, sending the, the Unabomber is what he was known as. So maybe the Unabomber's got connections with, Be with Beijing. Maybe the Unabomber has connections with Kim Jong-il. And now I'm hearing that Kim Jong-il is... This, this, now, this isn't from this article, but Kim Jong-il is trying to impress his young son, Kim Jong-un, on what a man does when he goes to negotiate. You smack somebody with a hammer on their hand, and then you say, let's talk. That's the North Korean way. Okay. After all, during the, the uh, Korean War, Beijing sent wave after wave of the People's Liberation Army soldiers to fight on the North's behalf. And Chairman Mao Zedong, let's say that again, Chairman Mao Zedong famously called the relationship between the communist bedfellows as close as lips and teeth. Well, that's nice. Even as North Korea's intelligence and unpredictability has grown, China has hesitated to criticize its isolated ally too harshly. The reason is simple. Not only do the countries share a historical, ideological bond, but Beijing wants to avoid a collapse of the North Korean regime of communist control, though its people are starving, may I add, Though its people have been locked away in a prison, basically, no freedom of speech, no freedom of religion, no freedom of expression, nothing. If you don't do it their way, it's the grave way. They are the one of the largest proponents of human rights violations on the planet. And China still loves them because China is just as dirty and just as guilty. And Fidel Castro, don't even open your mouth. Because you're trapped. You've lied more, ki killed more Christians, burnt more churches, oppressed more people on one little dinky island. 
why, why, why am I getting so angry? Um, I'm getting angry because millions of souls are in the balance. I'm getting angry because 29,000 U.S. soldiers are setting one hour's drive from one million North Korean soldiers who've got a gun to their head by the, some narcissistic, schizophrenic, illegitimate communist regime leader who has no clue how the real world operates. Or maybe he does. Maybe he knows that diplomacy will never get anywhere. And that if you really want to get somebody to talk to you about your problems, smack them first. And that's the philosophy and the, and the ideology of Kim Jong-il. Okay? Can I finish this article? Should I finish this article? Beijing sent wave after wave of the People's Liberation Army soldiers to fight on the North's behalf. Chairman Mao Zedong famously called the relationship between the communist bedfellows as close as lips and teeth, even as North Korea's intransigent and unpredictability has grown. China has hesitated to criticize its isolated ally too harshly. The reason is simple. Not only do these countries share a historical ideological bond, but Beijing wants to avoid a collapse of the North Korean regime and its communist desires. It's also important to cushion between China and the major U.S. military ally, South Korea. In fact, Relations between North Korea, South Korea, and one and only allies are so close to the North Korean leader that China is nervous. Well, I'm not shocked by that. They should be nervous. The USS George Washington has just arrived into the Sea of Japan. And with it, 75 sophisticated warplanes and 6,000 brave U.S. sailors and nuclear warheads capable of being launched within six minutes of word from the President of the United States. I'm Paul Begley. And Japan, I know, is very concerned. South Korean civilians are extremely concerned. The North Korean civilians are scared to death. The Chinese people are worried. And Russia. Russia. Sets just off the coast as well. I'm Paul Begley. God bless America. And don't cyber attack my videos. I think I got it all covered, so we will talk to you later here on YouTube.